Blake, it brings him Mackenzie, Mary, Ethanoid, Richard, Caden, Ariane, Kevin, Alice, Eleanor, and Lucas, underclassmen, finish off. Effort off! One, what does that even mean? Where's the exit to this place? Right here. Duh. Effort at AM. Good, Good morning, morning Ephrata. My name is Reagan. And my name is Alex. And today is Monday, April 15th, 2024. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Seniors, the Ephrata National Bank scholarship applications are due today. If your FAFSA still has not been processed, you have until April 30th to email that to the bank. An otherwise incomplete application after today will disqualify you. To be considered for the Hipschman scholarship, you must interview either April 29th or April 30th. The Sign Up Genius has been reposted on Schoology today. You will find tips and tricks to interviewing for the Hipschman, including knowing about the life and legacy of Mr. Hipschman. Finally, finally, if you are willing to answer questions about your school experience on camera, you can find a sign-up genius on Schoology to schedule a day and time to do so. This is voluntary and not part of the scoring process for the Hipschman Scholarship. However, it is in the hope of Dr. Troop and Dr. Galen that you are willing to participate. Plus, you may be asked during the scholarship interview if you participated in the video interview. Portions of these video interviews will be used for miscellaneous video projects at the end of the school year and in the future. All interviews will take place in the Ephrata AM studio. Seniors, at the baccalaureate ceremony, we would like to have a, a slideshow going of as many seniors and their photos as possible. We have created a form for the seniors to submit with their name and photos. Please check the Class of 24 school group to submit your photos. If you are interested in running to be a representative of Student Council for the 2024-2025 school year, stop down to room 137, Mr. Marzok's room, to pick up a petition ASAP. You need 30 signatures by students in your own grade. We only take the top six from each grade to be members of Student Council each year. Additionally, you need a teacher recommendation email to Mr. Marzok directly. Everything is due by April 16th, 2024. No exceptions. If you have any questions, please stop down to Mr. Marzok's room at any time. This announcement is for any student who is interested in learning more about the U.S. Service Academies. You are invited to, to attend Service Academy Night, which will be hosted by Congressman Lloyd Smucker on Monday, April 29, 2024, at Penn Manor High School from 5.30 to 7.30. The Academy Night will include information about the difference between attending an academy and, and the ROTC, the value of attending a summer program at an academy, the ideal candidate for an academy, the, the, the uh, determining process from the difference between a nomination and an appointment. You will also be able to check out options that are available through the U.S. Service Academies West Point, Naval, Air Force, Merchant Marine, and Coast Guard, and the ROTC programs. Each of the service academies offers an incredible free college education worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. For more details, check your Schoology class of group. It is especially important to start this process early. Freshmen and sophomores should attend if they have any interest in one of these post-secondary options. Now over to Kenzie with the news. The reason for celebrating National Anime Day as an annual event on April 15th is that anime has grown in, a pop, in popularity over the past few decades. Even though anime, the anime style originated in Japan, it soon captured the imagination of 
audiences in both in the West and East, resulting in the creation of merchandise, fan clubs, and other cultural merchandise. National Anime Day gives these people an opportunity to come together and share their anime experiences. It is also a great time to cons consolidate the brief and in but interesting history of anime in different parts of the world, while exploring new opportunities in for introducing anime in film and social media. Now back to the main desk. Check out Match That in the Media Center. Can you match which quotes go to which book? Stop by and cast your guesses. The person with the most correct answers wins a prize. Attention newspaper staff, please use the link on Schoology to sign up for issue four articles. If you have any questions or want to pitch a different article idea, please check with your with your editor or, or one of the the editors in chief. We will resume our normal schedule with the next meeting on April 24th. Prom is almost here! Effort High School's prom will be on Saturday, May 11th in the Double Tree in Reading. Tickets will be on sale in the ELAP room 215 starting in the second week of April. <laughs> so get your table of eight together. Tickets cost $65 and can be paid for with cash or with a check made out to EASD with the student's name in the memo line. Tickets will be available for all students after school from 315 to 415 Tuesday, April 16th and Friday, April 19th, as well as on Thursday, April 18th in the morning from 710 to 740. It is strongly recommended that you have everyone in your table group of eight purchase their tickets at the same time. All EHS students attending the prom must be present at the time of the ticket purchase. All obligations, both of money and of time, must be paid full before purchasing a prom ticket. Additional information about the prom and guest forms can be picked up from Mrs. Petrie's classroom, room 200, or in the main office. Please bring your payment and a form of ID, school ID, or license to purchase your tickets. See you at the prom. Minithon Spirit Week is happening now. Make sure you show your spirit this week and come out to Minithon this Saturday on April 20th. Oh! It will be held in the EIMS gym from 5 to 10 p.m. The registration packets can be found at the Minithon bulletin board near the cafeteria. FTK. Tomorrow is Twin Tuesday. Oh! Now over to lunch and sports with Kenny. Like, do you want to be, like, sort of kind of looking at the camera for it? I gotta, like... Just read it. <laughs> what if, is there even a mic on that? No. No. Okay, let's do it. It's gonna be raw. Okay. Okay. You recording? Yeah. Okay. Bosco stuffed pizza stick with meatballs and sauce. Boneless wings with whole grain roll and margarine. Fish and cheese with whole grain roll. Ham and cheese. Club with whole grain toast, fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin, chicken Caesar salad, french fries, bushes baked beans, fresh baby carrots or celery dip, chilled peaches, fresh fruit or 100% juice slash slushy. What, what, what do you have? That's my big skin. He's doing a typewriter. Oh, snap! Now he's sealing the envelope. Sending a letter. <laughs> Receiving the letter. Taking it up the river. Going for the full split! <laughs> Friday, baseball lost 5 to 10 at E Town. Girls lacrosse lost versus Penn Manor. Softball lost versus E Town. Tennis lost 3 to 4 versus Cacalico. Saturday baseball lost 11 to 1 versus Southwestern. Boys lacrosse won 17 to 4 versus Daniel Boone. Today baseball is at Lebanon. Softball is home versus Lebanon. Track is at E Town, and volleyball is at West York. Now back to the main desk. It is Act Period Five today. Have a mossy Monday, Alfredo. What?